Hi guys, Vince here from Dilig Philippines. So nakikita nyo ba ang pinakabagong product ngayon ni Dilig which is our Eagle Pro AI. So in this video, ipapakita ko po sa inyo kung gaano po ka-simple i-configure at i-set up ang ating bagong-bagong R15 Eagle Pro AI. So this is the new Eagle Pro AI from Dilig. So believe it or not, this is not your typical or standard router na available sa market today. So, Dealing spent years in our research and development for us to integrate an AI chip to our routers. So, si Eagle Pro AI will help you optimize and enhance your home network automatically for you to have the best networking experience. This is one of the Eagle Pro AI series, which is the R15. So, si R15 po, this is a Wi-Fi 6 AX1500 AI Smart Router. So, katulad po na nabanggit natin kanina, it has AI functionality which includes AI Wi-Fi, AI Mesh, AI Traffic, AI Parental, tsaka AI Assistance. So, di ba? Ang dami niyang feature. So, talagang feature pack itong R15. To learn more about the Eagle Pro AI features, pwede nyo pong panoorin yung video. Okay? So tara po, unbox na po natin. So ito na po ang pinaka-packaging ng ating R15. So ito po yung ating uh, model, ano, R15. So Eagle Pro AI AX or Wi-Fi 6 na po siya, no? smart uh, router. So katulad na nabanggit natin kanita, it has the AI uh, functionality. Okay, so it also works with uh, uh, Google and uh, Amazon Alexa. Okay, kung gusto nating mga voice command. So ito po yung pinaka front niya. Let me go to the back. Right. So at the back, ito pinapakita lang yung mga coverage pagka nag-combine tayo ng mga devices. Okay, so Wi-Fi 6, it has AX1500, uh, it supports mesh. Okay, the side, we have the Wi-Fi 6, it has gigabit port uh, you are uh, using the WPA free and tulad ng binanggit natin kanina voice control and on the other side okay, so ito po yung app na pinagamit natin na later papakita natin which is the Eagle Pro AI okay and it's uh, available on both App Store for uh, the iPhones and the Android users uh, Google okay so i-open na po natin ano so at the box wow so nakita natin ano it has this very uh, elegant white in terms of its color ano nagilang natin sa tabi okay so we have the standard uh, packaging here ano? so ang pagdating po siya pinaka router yan po set aside po muna natin yan pakita natin yung ibang naman so we have the uh, quick install setup guide okay, or installation guide and the warranty information so very important po ito ano, kasi nandito yung information na kakailanganin natin uh, when we are doing the setup okay? then of course we have a Ethernet cable okay, so yan siya and to power the R15 is the power now, let's take a closer look ano, on the router itself. Okay, katulad na nabanggit natin kanina, it has this very uh, elegant white function niya and it has like four external antennas on it. Okay. And in front, okay, we have four LEDs, uh, LED lights here. The power for the internet and uh, for 2.4 Wi-Fi and the 5 gigahertz. Okay. Now, at the back, I'm not sure kung kita, no? So, we have... Uh, Ayan, ano, we have three LAN ports, three gigabit LAN ports, one, two, and three. And the yellow port for the internet. So, dito po natin lalagay yung ating uh, modem or modem router from our internet provider. We have a reset button and a WPS button. And of course, the power in. Okay? And down at the very bottom, here's the uh, information about the Wi-Fi password, the QR code, the very important button. So, ito po. Okay, so ito po ang ating Eagle Pro AI R50. Very, very nice. 
Okay, so and now, ipapakita ko naman po kung gaano ka simple in setup at in configure ang ating R50. Ang una pong step na kailangan natin gawin is kailangan natin ng app. Okay, Eagle Pro AI. Uh, I-search lang po natin siya. It's available on uh, both Android and iOS devices. So, download lang po natin at install natin sa ating uh, mobile phone. Okay? Then, once na ma-download na natin, uh, ang unang-una natin gawin is kailangan natin i-power up si R15. So, ito po yung kanyang power adapter. Okay? So, matagalin lang natin. Nakatay pa siya ng uh, cable. Eh. Ayan. Okay? Then, hanapin natin sa, at the back part of power R15 na dito po yung uh, pinaka-easy key na, no? Yung easy niya. Ayan. Okay, then, uh, power on na po natin siya. So, ayan. Pakita natin na yun. Nag-power on na yung ating uh, LED lights. Okay, I'm not sure if kita nyo yan, ano? Okay, so, mapapansin nyo, apat yung ating LED lights. So, kung wala pa tayong internet connectivity, wala pa pong ilaw sa globe light natin. Yung pangalawa sa power. Okay? Ang mag uh, magkakaroon lang yan ng uh, ilaw dito sa uh, Wi-Fi 2.4 at saka sa Wi-Fi uh, 5. Okay, so while waiting for the router to boot up, okay, or to start up, huli na po natin yung ating uh, Ethernet cable na nakakonect sa ating uh, modem or modem router. Ano? So, lagi, lagi po natin sinasabi, ano, lahat po ng internet service provider it's sa Philippines, it should be compatible with all of our dealing. Routers, ano? So, uh, we just need to make sure na merong internet doon sa LAN port ng modem or modem router natin from our telco or our internet service provider. So, in my case, ito po yung aking, uh, just imagine this, itong, yung other end ng cable na ito is nakakonect sa aking modem or modem router. Okay? Then, uh, i-coconnect ko po siya sa, at the back, ano? Ayan. Uh, dito sa internet port or ating yellow port. So, ayan po. Ayan. So, pinanik ko na siya. Then, yan. Kung mapapansin nyo, uh, orange pa po kasi wala pa pong uh, internet. Okay. Now, um, since we already done the physical and physical connectivity and the uh, powering up our R15, open na po natin yung app. Okay. So, ako po, no, na download ko na po yung app ko, no? Ayan. So, kung makikita nyo sa screen, nandiyan na po. Ayan po yung itsura ng ating uh, Eagle Pro AI app. So, open na po natin. Okay. So, uh, yung app po kasi natin allows us to remotely access ang ating device. So, kailangan po natin mag-create ng account. Okay. So, yun. Click nyo lang po yung create ng account. Wala pa, pong, wala pa po kayong account. Or kung meron na kayong dealing uh, account, pwede nyo po siyang log in. Okay. Ito, uh, try lang po tayo mag uh, login, ano? Okay. So, login ko lang yung account ko. Then, lalabas siya na wala pa pong device. So, very simple lang po. I-click lang po natin yung plus sign, ano? ano? For us to install a new uh, device. Okay. Then, kailangan lang po natin i-scan. Okay. Yung QR code. Yung QR code, pwede na sa ilalim ng product nyo or nandoon sa uh, quick install guide natin. So, yun. Scan lang po natin. Ayan. Then, once na scan natin, yun, no, kita agad yung model. No? So, ayan, papipiliin ka ng option uh, if you want to set up a new or to extend. So, syempre, set up a new account. So, itong mga step na to, no, since nagawa na natin kanina, pwede na natin siya skip. Okay? So, power on and connect your uh, R15 to your uh, modem router. Nagawa na rin natin yan. So, uh, next lang po tayo. No? Okay, then power on the uh, modem router. So, yeah, pwede po natin skip yun. Ano? Next. Okay, then power on the Eagle Pro AI, which is ginawa na natin kanina. Yung ginawa, yung tinuturo ko sa inyong technique is yung ano yan. Uh, mas pinabilis. Okay? So, in this, kailangan daw yung power is naka-white. So, kung mapapansin nyo, white na po yung ating uh, power light. No? Dito sa ating uh, R15. So, next lang natin. 
Ito medyo ma- matagal yung ano ah, medyo uh, haba na countdown siya. Medyo uh, we just need to wait. Okay. So the next step will ask you to connect your mobile device to the Wi-Fi network. So ito po yung default name ng Wi-Fi ni R15 sa kayo password. So ang gagawin lang po natin diyan is uh po-connect lang tayo sa kanya no. So uh, i-open lang natin yung Wi-Fi natin. Wi-Fi and look for that uh, Wi-Fi name. Okay, default po yan. Nandun po yan sa ating uh, quick install uh, card or doon sa ilalim ng R15 natin. So, enter lang po natin yung password. So, yan. So, uh, R15465. Ayan po yung default natin. Then, yung password niya. Okay. So, ang mangyayari po dito is connect yung ating mobile phone sa mismo R15. Click on connect. Okay. So, yan. So, connected na po tayo. No? So, ang next step po natin dyan is i-click lang natin yung uh, next. Then, uh, maghintay ulit tayo. So here, uh, we will uh, select the country, of course, Philippines, and your telco is all listed there. Kung wala po doon, pwede naman po yung I can find one. But any internet provider, actually, kahit ano pong piliin natin, kasi dynamic lang po ang kinagamit dito sa Philippines. Dynamic or uh, DHCP. Okay? So click next once you've selected those information. Okay, then ito, uh, it will uh, ask you to create or to set up or name your net, uh, Wi-Fi network. So, ako, ang gagamitin na lang natin is R15 ayan, underscore delig ph ayan. Then, password, para matalang tandaan. Okay. Sample password lang naman yan. 11223344455 okay. Then, next. Then, we need to set up a password from uh, the R15. Okay, tuwing i-accessin natin yung ating R15, ito po yung password. Then, in-name lang po natin yung ating R15 para madali natin siya matandaan. So, ito lalagay ko na lang as R15 main kasi ito yung ating main route. Okay? And it will give you like a summary, no? Then, uh, pwede natin siyang i-screenshot uh, and it will be added to the D-Link Cloud. And finally, it will reboot. Okay? It will save all the settings that we've made to the arm. So, hintay lang mo na. Alright. Actually, we are done. Ano? Uh, tapos na po yung config natin. Kailangan na lang natin gawin is kumonect na doon sa ating uh, bagong name which is iba yung name natin kanina which is the r15 underscore link uh, ph then i-enter lang natin yung password na kinostomize natin ano and connect to it and actually we're done ano uh, tapos na po natin i-configure so ganun po kasimple i-configure ang ating r15 alright so for us to check ano na configure na or successfully working ng ating R15. Kita po natin online na po. So, yun, no, nasa taas ang ating R15. So, pwede po natin yung i-click or i-tap. Then, from here, we have like an overview. Okay? Ayun po, oh, connected na po siya sa internet. Then, you have extender on the left side and clients on the right. So, extender, pagka maglalagay tayo ng mesh device, dyan po siya lalabas. Then, clients, ito po yung mga lahat ng list ng mga Wi-Fi devices na nakakonect sa kanya. And tayo, tayo, ako pala po nakakonect sa kanya. So, yan po yung makikita niya. Or makikita na. So, yun, ganun po. As you can see, very, very simple lang po at napaka-intuitive ng bago Eagle Pro AI app ni D-Link. Alright, so that ends our video for today. Uh, at least nakita natin kung gaano ka-simple i- Set up at i-configure ang ating R15.
So again, if you have any question, pwede tayo mag-comment uh, down below. And please, please guys, subscribe to our channel. So again, this is Vince from Dealing Philippines. Thank you very much for watching and stay safe guys. Bye-bye.